Hey, what up, Fear? You uh, are asking about moonshine? I don't know much. Um, but uh, I know that in Norway, uh, they do it as a, uh, as just a matter of course. Like everyone, a lot of people have a, a still. If you, uh, if you search for it, you'll see a wide variety of contraptions. And uh, you got a little something there, I'm not gonna wipe it off. Uh, you got a uh, wide variety of contraptions and basically a lot of them were built on a water heater. Uh, you'd repurpose a water heater because um, you could crank the temperature way up on those bad boys. Uh, and that's, that's a real safe way to do it. There's the, old, the classic way, the whole copper tubing and whatnot. And uh, I knew two people that did that and one made me some moonshine that made me uh, have a hangover uh, within hours of drinking some of it. And uh, I said, hey, uh, oh, this was an, a trade too. It was in lieu of, uh, of cash. And I brought it back to him, saying, hey, this, this isn't worth, this is working out for me. This stuff uh, seems poisonous. He's like, oh, you don't want it? And I'm like, no, man, here you go. And I gave it back to him. And what I should have said was, so you're gonna have to figure out another way to pay me back. But how he thought of it was, well, we're, we're even, and I'll take this moonshine back fill it back up again and use it again for barter which is what he did and I never had anything to do with him after that <laughs> as, you know as, as, if you can't barter you know there's no sense in hanging around with you um, oh and the other guy did it the uh, um, what do you call it the, the dis distillation process could get down to a point if you walk away you're not supposed to walk away I mean it takes a long time but you're supposed to, you're supposed to stay there and take care of business um, and he thought, well, I'm just going to go, I think I'm a couple hours out, I'm just going to go eat dinner. And he'd been sitting there all day long. And so he went and ate dinner, and then he's like, oh, I better get out there to my still. And it all burned down to the point where, uh, it was like, he, he, he described it as like, you walk in to one of those rooms with a bomb in it, and it's going like five, four, three, you know, like, and you're like, oh my gosh, and you go to launch forward, except he walked in, and it was already on zero. So uh, he was... Uh, there was a half a moment where you're like, should I throw myself backwards? Or should I, you know, turn off the flame and, uh, you know, set about uh, uh, preventing an explosion. Um, and also, so you did a, a, a bike thing where you biked out and had a Mickey's. And uh, I'm getting back into biking and I wanted to kind of record my initial thoughts. And uh, probably, maybe this might be why some people don't get into biking. Because I'm out of shape, I'm just, I'm just so far away from the shape I used to be in. As I was coming up the super steep hill, um, my chest started getting tight, it was hard to breathe. Uh, I, my muscles were starting to scream for oxygen. And I started thinking about, you know what this feels like? It feels like a panic attack. And I'm like, that's probably why a lot of people are like, oh, I'm not going to go biking, that felt terrible. Um, but that's like, you, you, like there's this, that your body strives against that barrier and then you pass through it. And, uh, and I know that from experience, so I can see why, you know, I know why I'm gonna continue. But I can see why some people stop. And then I get to the top of the hill, actually I got off my bike, walked about three quarters to the top of the hill, I and mean, I'm like, I'm gonna bike the rest, even though it's silly. And so I hype, hop back on the bike, pop up to the top of the hill, I start coasting down and I was able to stop pedaling for a moment. I'm taking deep, deep breaths. That's the other thing I forgot is you just overdo it on oxygen, you get high. I started laughing uh, almost maniacally. Uh, first, you know, I'm like out of joy, like, yeah, I made it to the top. And I just started laughing. I just kept laughing. So there's this weird uh, bikes kind of pay off in this kind of natural uh, drug bin. Some of it causing giant amounts of anxiety and others just like, endorphin adrenaline dumps uh, combined with maniac oxygen uh, overload so I'm like <laughs> yeah so it's good times and uh, now I'm gonna bike back to the uh, casa and have some uh, beer and whiskey all right uh, mr. fear I'll see you in the tubes